Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks on how to edit on Final Cut Pro. If you guys want some tips and tricks on how to edit on iMovie, definitely check out my video on how to edit on iMovie or my video on how to add aesthetic text on iMovie. Those two videos will be linked in the description box if you guys are interested. And yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's get to editing. So the first thing that I'll do is start off with the rough cut. Basically, I'll just add all the clips to the project and then I'll go through the clips and cut anything out that I don't want in the video. I also like to change the size of how the clips appear on my screen, so I'll just click this button and then slide the bar to either the right or the left just to make it easier for the rough cut. And for the rough cut, I'll use some keyboard shortcuts, which are super helpful. The keyboard shortcuts that I use are Command B for cut, Command C for undo, Delete for delete, Command C for copy, and Command V for paste. So then I'll just go in and add some music. So I'll go to the music tab and I'll scroll through all the options that I have and then I'll drag one into the project. Then I'll just click the bar on the music and I'll adjust the volume to however I like it. To add a zooming in effect, all you need to do is click on the clip that you want to zoom in on. Click on the square icon right over here. Then you're going to click on the crop tool and to create a more gradual zooming in effect, just click on the Ken Burns tool and adjust it however you like it. If you like more of a faster zooming in effect, click where you want the zoom to start in the clip. Then click on crop. Then click on the diamond icon on the left side of the screen. Then you're going to click the right arrow a bunch of times and then just click on any corner and drag until you like how it looks. And this is how it turns out. The next thing that I do is add some text to my videos. To add a basic title, just go to the T icon, then go to titles and type in basic title and just drag that into your project. Then just click into the text box and type in whatever you want the text to say. And you can also change the font and customize the text to however you like it. For this title, I'm using lemon milk in medium italic and then I'm just adjusting the size and I'm adding a drop shadow and I'm also just bringing the opacity all the way up as well as just adjusting the distance. You can also add an outline to your text as well. And for that, I'm just changing the color to black and bringing the width up a bit. To change the color of the face of the text, just click on the white box and change the color to whatever you want it to be. And you could also do this with both the outline effect and the drop shadow. I also love adding this glitch effect to my text. So all you need to do is click this button, then type in bad TV and drag that onto your text. And it is so cool. To add the typewriter effect, all you need to do is type in typewriter in the titles tab and just drag that into your project. I like to customize the text and also change the duration and the size. Which can be done by pressing the T icon and just changing the levels. To have your text move around, all you need to do is click on your text, click on the square icon and then click on transform. Then click on the diamond icon and move the text to where you want the text to start. Then move however many frames you want to the right and bring your text to its next position. You could do this as many times as you want and then have the text move around like crazy or you could just have it super simple like moving in a straight line or diagonally whatever you want to do to have your text zoom in there are two ways that i like to do it to have more of a faster zooming in effect all you need to do is go to the transform tool once again and then click on the diamond icon then move into the video a couple frames and drag one of the corners in order to make the text bigger and then you have this really cool effect to have the text gradually zoom in all you need to do is go to the crop tool and then click on ken burn and it's super easy and it looks so cool. I also love adding the perspective tile effect, the underwater effect, and the earthquake effect. And you could just do this by clicking this icon and then searching up any effect that you want. And you could also add any of these effects to your videos as well. And it's so cool. Now I'm going to be showing you how to add sound effects. Start off by going to this icon and then clicking on sound effects. Then you're going to type in whichever sound effect that you want. Right now I'm just using the keyboard sound effect and I'm dragging that into the project. And that's basically basically it. My favorite sound effects recently have been the keyboard effect, the mouse click effect, and the camera effect. To add one of these color solid screens, all you need to do is click on this icon, then click on generators, then drag a 360 color solid into the project, click on the blue square, and then change the color to whatever you want. Another fun thing that you can do with a generator is just adding it on top of your video, changing the color, and then changing the opacity a bit so that it's a little bit more transparent, and it creates this super cool effect, and you could also add text on it. I just love doing this so much. I think it's so fun. To add a blur effect to either your video or to your text, all you need to do is go to the effects tab, search up Gaussian, and then drag that into your project. In the same effects tab, you could also find super cool voice effects. My favorite to use are definitely telephone and muffled. Now I'm going to be showing you how to add overlays. Start by just dropping an overlay into the project. All of the overlays that I use are from YouTube and I'll just download them using the website yp2mp3.com. Press normal and then choose linear 
Dodge. And that's basically it. To add a green screen overlay to your videos, all you need to do is drop a green screen into your project, then go to this icon, then search up the word Kier, then drag Kier right into the green screen. And you could also go into the transform tools and adjust the position of the green screen. And the last thing that I'm going to be showing you is how to make a clip faster or slower. All you need to do is click this icon right here and how fast or slow you want it. You could also do the custom setting and adjust it to however you like it. And that's it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank you.